inside the variac. So it's wound around the ferrite core, and y'all get the idea. I uh, took the cover off tonight, and uh, I was having problems with uh, an area where I use it a lot. I use it a lot between um, 80 and 117 to 120, and sometimes a 60. Uh, well, here's the scale here. Uh, where uh, you know what I found out you can put a uh, a bigger this is supposed to be 300 watts anyway I put a uh, or a 3 amp fuse I'm sorry I put a 5 amp in there that was been three years ago and I think the only difference between the uh, bigger model and this that I can find is that uh, is the fuse because this thing has been running for two years anyway um, here's the uh, way it works you've got a brush here kind of like a DC motor or whatever. I don't know if you can see that there. That that just uh, goes against the uh, the windings there against uh, over the core. And I was having issues with it. Uh, um, wasn't getting a good connection around here, and the uh, and the little brush there is in good shape. So what I did was, there's a spring right here that connects the mains through the coil here. And uh, you can see these set screws. What I had to do was uh, loosen those two set screws and push this uh, cowling or fer ferrule down against that spring. And uh, I'll show you right now that it worked pretty good. We're going to turn it on. You see the uh, neon there. It's working. There's the uh, cover for it. And uh, here's an old GE fan. That's well. Here you go. Here's the cable. I'm sure you trust me. I'm not trying to screw anybody. And so we'll wind it up. Here the motor starting to wind a little bit there, and as you can see, the uh, the thing's up around 70 volts, I guess. So. See, I, I got it working pretty well here. If I can do this in one shot, let y'all check this out. good a little spring there it's the ferrule I guess it wears out I mean it's not the uh, the brush there as you can see with that nut right there which is hot which is not burning me because I'm not grounded but uh, if you uh, have that problem where it only works on some parts and you've not overworked the very act and you haven't burned out some of the windings which windings which I haven't um, Tighten that puppy up right there, or those two set screws, and we'll fix it for you. As you can hear clearly, there's 130 volts. Which, uh, it's equally wound, e equally uh, worn. Hang on. And right there, it was sparking and not working. It was just because of that spring right there, and that's hot right there, so you don't want to touch that. Ooh, tingly. Tingly. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And there's the uh, Variac issue. If you got one, son. Good old American stuff right there, big dog. Everybody check out Alex at uh, High Voltage Channel. Um, he uh, uh, look out 
some of my last couple channels that I had uh, channels my last couple likes and comments on uh, Google and uh, Alex at the uh, high voltage he uh, he's got uh, a bunch of good stuff going on y'all check him out anyway uh, that's uh, what you got to do to fix your stuff there big dog as you can see it's working great now but check out Alex at High Voltage Channel. I will uh, put a link if I can figure it out how to do it on this stupid phone. Thanks for watching, guys. Y'all take care. Never do this. Don't. Yeah, it's a little tangled. Just, just don't do that. Don't fucking do it, man. Thanks for watching, guys.